Ladies and gentlemen, I never thought I would see the day that a deck that I played over a decade ago when it was Tier 1 gets another round of new support. Ladies and gentlemen, destroy the ever-living Samurai Boo Boo Stain off that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1400 ladder. Open the gates to the 6th heaven with new 6 Samurais out of Rage of the Abyss. Now remember, this is the set that comes after uh, Infinite Forbidden. I haven't read these cards yet, so this is going to be a live reaction. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens here. Uh, Shein is Yu-Gi-Oh's stand-in for Nobunga. Okay, whatever. Um, let's see what happens. Anarchist Monk of the Six Samurai. Okay. Also, I apologize as always for the ads. YGO organization has to make a buck, I guess. Level 3 Dark Warrior Tuner Effect Monster. 5 for attack, 0 defense. Okay, so they have another tuner. You can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you control a Six Samurai Monster other than Anarchist, you can special summon this card from your hand. That's hot. If this card's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Six Samurai Quick Play spell from your deck to your hand. Okay. A Six Samurai Monster Synchro Summon using this card as a material gains this effect. The levels of all monsters your opponent controls are reduced by one. I don't know off the top of my head if there's any good Quick Play Six Samurai spells. I know there's Sheehan Smoke Signal as a spell, but that's a normal spell. Um, like I said, it's been over a decade since I played Six Samurai. I remember playing Six Samurai when Gravekeepers just became good with a recruiter at YCS Orlando back in 2010. And now we're finally getting another YCS or in Orlando in 2025 in February. And that YCS in Orlando back in 2010 had 400 people. And I bubbled out from making day two. God, this brings back memories. <clears throat> Instructor of the Six Samurai. Level 2 Earth Warrior Tuner Effect Monster 200 Attack, 1200 Defense. You can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. Only use second and third effects once per turn. If you control a 6 Samurai Monster other than Instructor, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh my god. So many extenders. A 6 Samurai Monster Synchro Summon using this card's material gains its effect. Monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack. So, level degradation and losing 500. Okay, I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, looks like Shein got a glow up. Legendary Klesha Six Samurai Shein. So we had Legendary Six Samurai Shein, which is the original Synchro. Now we have Klesha Six Samurai Shein. Level 6 Dark Warrior Synchro Effect Monster, 2500 attack, 1900 defense. One Warrior Tuner plus one or more non tuner Six Sam monsters. Level 6 is very easy to pull off because remember, Kageki is a level 3 that gets you to Kagamusha. And I believe Kagamusha is level 3. If not, it's level 2 to get you to the original Shein. So th this is very easy to get to. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card's Synchro Summon, you can add one 6 Samurai Monster or Shein Effect Monster from your deck or grave to your hand. That's really good. When your opponent, or once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, Quick effect, you can negate the activation if you do destroy that monster. So the original Shein only negated spells or traps in the same way that this Shein negates monster effects. Um, it's a once per turn, spell or trap, negate, negate and pop. This is a monster effect, negate and pop. Um, these are all Earth, correct? Okay, yeah, so we're still doing Naturia lines. Well, this is a Dark Warrior, but this is an Earth Warrior tuner. Yeah, so back in the day, the reason why Six Sam was so busted was because that they could end on like a Shein with like a beast and or a barkeon and it was just absolutely insane like it was one of the i would say like one of if not like the first like archetype deck besides like infernity that like put out a bunch of negates on the board and keep in mind we didn't have stuff like you know nib or shifter back then so now this actually insulates you from nib because it's just whenever they activate a monster it doesn't have to be on the field this card would be destroyed by battle by card effect and pop one of the monster you control instead that's pretty standard for stuff the big six samurai sheens and all that stuff so, cool, they have a way to out-nib. That's really good. Legendary Klesha, Six Samurai, Anishi. So there was the Anishi effect monster that didn't really see a lot of play. Now they're turning it into a Synchro. Level 6 Light Warrior Synchro effect monster, 17 hour attack, 12 hour defense. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. You can only use the first and third effects of this card's name each once per turn. If this card's Synchro summoned, you can banish any number of Six Samurai monsters from your grave. Then target that many monsters your opponent controls or turn them to the hand. I mean, I guess. Warrior monsters you control gain 5 for attack and defense during the battle phase only. Okay, this card's sent to the grave. You can special summon one of your banished six samurai monsters. I mean, this is okay. Doesn't seem all that great. Uh, double assaults. This is the last card here. Quick play spell. You can only use one of the first and second effects of this card's name per turn, and only once that turn. Apply one of these effects, or if you control two or more six samurai monsters, you can apply both in sequence. Special summon one six samurai monster with two thousand or less attack from your hand or grave. That's pretty good. Change one monster your opponent controls a 2,000 or less attack in a face down defense position. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one six samurai monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. This double assault seems really good. Now keep in mind that Gateway of the Six, which is their uh, field spell, right? Or continue spell, whatever it is. It's been forever since I looked at six sam cards. Um, Gateway is still at one. Now back in the day when Legendary Six Samurais first came out in Storm of Ragnarok. 
God, taking me back here, folks. Um, there was a YCS, I believe it was. Yeah, YCS that happened in Dallas. And they actually, a lot of people considered it an emergency ban list, where it was like, I want to say like 28 of the top 32 spots were six samurai uh, decks. And that's because Gateway was such a busted card. And I think... I mean, I don't want to say Gateway's been power crept because it's not once per turn, but it was definitely an issue at three. But I, I think at one, it's not. And even if it came back to three, I don't think it would really, like, definitely not make this deck tier zero. Uh, I, I can almost all but guarantee that. Um, so, yeah, uh, go ahead and go buy out your Gateway of the Sixes. Um, it's going to probably go to three on our next list here in about a month or so, whenever we get it. Um, this Monster Effect Negate Synchro is dummy good. This Inishi Synchro, like, even the original Inishi Effect Monster wasn't all that good. The Synchro just kind of, like, goes in hand with that. It's not all that good. This Quick Play Spell seems pretty good. So, yeah, free extenders, especially with the Effect Monsters, is always nice, because that's what they're known for. Um, Six Samurai United still at three, and it's not a once per turn. You can draw two cards once you get two counters on it. Gateway the six, once you get six counters on it, I mean, it's, it's GG once you get four, because then you can start searching for these monsters. I'm excited. This is really cool. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.